The attractions at Coney Island have been called some of the greatest around, but the city has plans to make major changes in the area, which led to a very unique protest today. CBS 2's Christine Sloan has that story. They gathered on the steps of Borough Hall in Brooklyn. Coney Island business owners and activists to protest a city plan to revitalize the amusement park. And they did it the way you would expect. Yeah, we're clowns, we're freaks, and we are radical Americans. City Council will be voting on a plan this week backed by Mayor Bloomberg to change Coney Island as New York knows it. We're seeing large retail killing small business. Here's a before and here's a possible after. If passed, new condos would go up near the amusement park, as well as a hotel, an indoor park, in addition to 12 acres of outdoor space. The problem, main problem with the plan is that the outdoor amusement area is way too small, hemmed in by this several stories big mall area and these high rises that block off everything. City officials say that over the years, this park has deteriorated and gotten smaller. Their plan is to build upon what's here to create a 27-acre entertainment and amusement district where kids and adults can come to year-round. We would love to revitalize the, uh, the park for the kids. Diana Carlin says she lost a business here when a developer took over last summer. Now she's concerned about her second business on the boardwalk. My future is very uncertain there. The same group will continue protesting on Wednesday. That's when city council votes on the plan. In Brooklyn, Christine Sloan, CBS 2 News. Opponents of the plan also say it doesn't make sense to build high-rises near a noisy amusement park.